Well, my camera's about to die. But I don't know if saw that we uh, caught the Bronco on fire. Hey guys, uh, today I think we're gonna keep it kind of simple. I've been saying that kind of a lot lately, but want to come in here and get you on the side. I have a, a heat gun. We're gonna try to come in here and get some of this body putty off. And I'm really wanting to clean the wells up on this, knock the wells out on this. And we also need to plug up that hole. And if it goes good, do it that. If it goes good, we'll make our way over here because this is really uh, thick. I don't want my uh, grinder to just get clogged up with this stuff. So, kind of want to see what's under it, making sure there's no rust, especially up in here. That being said, we may start taking this off too because I never ground that down. And I think I am going to take the uh, dash out, but uh, then we use the uh, Kyle's suggestion and brace up through here at different points, especially from here down here with some angle iron or flat stock that I have. Give us some rigidity on both sides before we uh, take this out. So I hate to take it out and then stuff move and uh, this may pop out. Who knows? So, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to kind of tack it in or clamp it in, but we'll, we'll put some braces across here to keep it all uh, sturdy. That way we can take this out and get back underneath it. I need to pull these plastic things out from the vents. Get those out because I'm probably going to need new ones. They're all cracked and it's going to melt when I weld that up right there. But, uh, that might be another video of trying to figure out some kind of bracing to go through here and over there. Also, I haven't received the hinge pins yet, but if they come in uh, here within the next couple days, we'll go ahead and try to fast grip hammer those pins out. That way they'll be ready. We can uh, sand them down, grind them, make them look nice. And a buddy of mine is going to let me use his press. So I may uh, take it over there and show you all press them in but yeah main thing tonight is I want to see what's underneath this nastiness kind of grind down these welds here uh, kind of get back in here all this body filler stuff try to just remove it and I'm also thinking about coming back in here on this seam on this back side and maybe uh, putting some a little bit more welds on this side to make sure it's really really good and stuck and grinding it back down so uh, that being said, I'm probably going to take the fender off, move this, uh, get my heat gun out, and we'll uh, start trying to peel this stuff up.
Well, my camera's about to die. But I don't know if you saw, but we uh, caught the Bronco on fire. Took this down a little bit. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, pretty rusty right through here. Then I thought I'd weld the back side of this. And as you can tell, it kind of burnt through. So the metal right through here is really thin. So I'm going to do something with that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean... Sorry it took so long to get through this, but I'm planning on taking this whole thing that way and just clearing it all off. Uh, heat gun didn't work very well. Let's get that body goop out. And you can tell we got a bunch to go through here. Well, the GoPro died. So uh, that turned to be more work than I thought it would. It burned a big hole around that. And uh, that still needs a lot of work. Uh, kind of concerning that that's real thin, like I said before. Anyways, uh, next time hopefully we have our hinges, or hinge rebuild kit in, and we can start uh, taking the hinges apart. We might do that, get those ready, grind them down, make them smooth, and uh, hopefully nobody's press works, and we can push them together and get them right, and we can go back and start on the uh, fitting the door again with the new hinges. But. That's all I got for y'all tonight. Well, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, like I said, it's kind of slow, just monotonous getting paint and everything off. But uh, if y'all made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. If y'all made it through my previous videos doing this same kind of thing, thank you a lot. It does mean a lot to the channel. It means a lot to me too. Uh, y'all are sticking with me through this. I'll see you next time.